Welcome back to New York City. My hair is on one. Getting ready to go to yoga. It's gonna be my first yoga class in a long time, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't been in a long time. I love yoga. I can't literally can't remember the last yoga class I went to. Like Paul's or anybody. That is way classic. So yeah, I can go get a little yoga in. Feel good. What is this breathe? Bring out the fishtail? No. Is that what that is? No. What does it look like? Is it? Oh, that looks cool. It looks cool. That's some crazy shit going on. Yeah. Nice. It's my girl. Braid master. Showed you guys this last vlog. But our magnolia and cherry blossoms have lost all their leaves now. And just green trees. It's kind of crazy the landscape of trees and the landscape of the trees changes so quickly. The landscape? You like go to bed? Well, not the landscape, but the leaves on the tree. Oh, yeah. You go to bed, you wake up the next morning, and it's got more leaves. Oh, you know it. All the flowers Spring are gone. Has sprung. Right here. Trevor Lawrence or no? Oh, This is like some weird hybrid thing you have going on right now. What is that? Mm -hmm. it's Just the braid's good, babe. Okay. Looks beautiful. Okay. Go get it some it's yoga. Quick side note. These are the running pants I got last week. Mm. I really like them. They're a cool fit. Yeah. But I'm, good. I'm just wearing them walking. I'm gonna take them off when I get to the gym and then just wear my shorts and yoga. Oh, I'm also wearing this that I got. This is the jacket. Wearing all the clothes we purchased because I literally didn't pack anything. Alright, we're gonna go. So we're gonna be late. We're gonna be late. Hey, what do you think? It's good. I liked it. The salad was so fresh. The falafel was really good. I do think mustache is better. I know. I, know I think so there. too. We didn't go there on the block. Oh. There's another place. Lebanese. Lebanese food. We think we prefer it maybe. But this was really good. Go to our favorite little snack. Every time we're in the area. Uh, we decided to pass. They didn't have, they like don't always have all the flavors. Like the other night we came there and they didn't have really any of the flavors that are our favorites, but yeah. we still got it and it was good. And the fruity ones are not that great. Like the mango one, I think the strawberry one is pretty bad actually. Yeah. The Trader Joe's strawberry one is literally better. The Shade. vanilla one with the chocolate chips in it, you need that one. Yeah. Life. And they haven't had it in a long time. Uh, birthday cake is really good. I also they didn't, they didn't even have birthday cake. No, they didn't have it. I actually really like the acai one because it has cacao in it, like the nibs, and I love the texture of that. But did they not have that one today? I don't know. I didn't think I saw it. Yeah, so we're gonna have to test it. What's that? We're actually we're actually going uh, to go do a little thrifting for some Yankees clothes because we're going to go to the Yankee game on Friday. Yeah, never been. Never been. So, so. We're also, I just like love the Yankees branding. You guys know we wear Yankee hats all the time. Retro Titans and A's fan. I'm not really, I don't have a baseball team. No. I'm on the market, so we'll see how the Yankees do. I mean, we were vacationing with Aaron Judge this summer. We did see Aaron Judge. For this winter. In Hawaii, so I'm a Yankee girl. Wow. I literally have this like all. Little Wrangler. This red one's calm. Same size. Yeah. Were they the same size? It's bigger. I know, that one could be a little bigger. I like, I like she likes it big. Yeah. If it wasn't for assholes, we wouldn't know about good people, right? <laughs> Girl, 
gotta have the contrast. All right, guys, we just got home from the gym. We did a little weekend workout, which was honestly impressive to me because the gym here gets so busy and then it makes it really hard for me to work out because I don't know, I just don't thrive in that environment. That's actually why I love classes at gyms because I feel like I don't have to worry about all of the hecticness of when it gets super busy. Like, you know, you want to have your little sets, you want to do your thing, you don't want to be in people's way, you don't want people to be in your way. And in New York City, I feel like the gyms are so small and there's just so many people that it's like, it's hard for it not to be a feral environment, basically. But we made it work today, so I'm, I'm proud of us. We worked through the gym anxiety, if you will. I wanted to show you guys my little outfit that I wore to the gym, and then I have a try-on haul for you guys. This is all gonna be from Adenola, who I've partnered up with for today's video, and I'm super excited because their stuff is so good. You guys are gonna love it. I'm sure you've seen them on social media. They're very much so a cool it girl brand, and their stuff just looks so effortless, but really chic and nice, and it's great, like, athletic wear, leisure, cozy, comfy outfits, some workout stuff. So I have an itch, I keep it right here. So I'll link everything in the description box for you guys per usual, but you're gonna love these pieces. I promise they're so good. Okay, for starters, we have this little one piece. This is what I wore to the gym today, and I'm obsessed with it. It fits so well. I think I took this in a size extra small. I'll double check when I take it off, or I did a small, but I usually size down in one pieces like this to an extra small because I don't like them to be loose anywhere because I think that it just looks weird on a one piece. Um, it has a little zipper in the back, and it's this beautiful, like, grayish, blue color that I've been really really obsessed with and I'm not wearing a bra with it it's nice and like thick and supportive it's so comfy and I just really like it it doesn't do anything weird in the crotch area because sometimes these can be like that and then I I styled it today with this hoodie or not hoodie this crew neck which is also from Adenola I took this in a size medium and it was a little chilly this morning, so just like walking around in this was perfect. I love these colors together. This is like kind of a sagey green, and the quality of their stuff is incredible, you guys. Like this is really nice and like sturdy feeling, I guess. It's not like a flimsy, cheapy feeling fabric, and I just love the way that it fits and it feels like the quality is really great. Also, a one piece like this would be so cute with a blazer if you wanted to dress it up a little bit more. So I've seen a lot of girls do this here in New York because, you know, we're always on the move. So you want to wear something that's comfy, that's casual, that you can walk in and, like, be comfortable in. But then also having something over top that's kind of, like, businessy or whatever if you're going to an event or a meeting or something workish in between i have like a little belt that goes with this too but i don't know where it is but this is supposed to be like this i can't find the belt that is supposed to go with this but let's try this belt and then i also got this tote bag because we literally carry tote bags everywhere and this one is so cute and then for the hat Perfect. I actually want to change my socks though. My socks are way cuter than these like weird, this weird red stripe. This red stripe's throwing me off. Just a little cap moment. Like you can go to the gym in this and then go to a little breakfast meeting. Also, let me show you guys a trick I've been doing with hats lately. I don't know if it's like my haircut or just my hair in general, or my face shape, or what it is. But I realized that I really like the way it looks a lot better with hats if I push the front of my hair back before I put it on. Then it's not so poofy, but you also don't have to like tuck it behind your ears as much, if that makes sense. Just a little hack for you. Hello, this is so cute. 
See what I'm saying about just the effortless, cool girl style of Adenola? I kind of really wish I could find the belt that goes with this blazer because it's gray. It's just the same material. It's like a string belt and then this wouldn't like stick out as much. But my really life is kind of a mess right now so we don't know where it is. How cute is this? I'm obsessed. Okay then well, let me show you guys some more. Okay this is the next outfit. I don't know if I've talked about this on here before but I feel like I have. I am obsessed with the color navy lately. I like it so much better than black in recent months I would say. I just think that it looks so much nicer. I don't know. It's really weird because I've always loved the color black and most of my closet is black but especially with like workout clothes too. I just think that navy looks so much better lately. So this is a navy pair of leggings. I took a size small in the top and the bottom here. They're really nice and high-waisted. They're super comfy. I love the way that they fit. And then also this little tank. It has like a built-in bra. I took the little boob inserts out because I just do not like those. I feel like you're either you love those or you hate them. I'm one of the people that hates them. This tank is so supportive. I like how it's higher. I feel like that's really nice being fuller chested. It's just feeling really nice and secure. Just has a little adenola on the back. I put this with the navy cap too because I feel like it looks so cute together. Going to the gym, running errands, whatever. A little tote. I don't know. It's just perfect. So simple but classic and it looks really nice together. And then I have a few more to show you guys. I also picked up that same set in this kind of like charcoal -y. it's like a grayish almost has like a bit of brown hint to it too though i don't know it's a really nice neutral kind of earthy tone and it's the same exact pair of leggings so high-waisted they're just like sucking in in the right places i love these tops i'm obsessed with the way that these fit i just feel like it's really supportive but still really flattering which i think can be hard to find in workout clothes being fuller chested if you know you know this is great i love this and then i have one more workout set i'm going to show you guys i know i was just talking about how i like navy so much better than black but i do still like black and for whatever reason i feel like in this outfit with the long sleeve i feel like black is going to look really nice this was like when i'm cold workout outfit i don't know and black is really nice for that i think but the navy, I don't know, I just wanted like, with the white top and the navy, I feel like that looks way better than the black would. And I've just been gravitating towards navy more than black lately, but I'm always gonna, my closet is always gonna be predominantly black clothing, but I still like her. I'm just, I'm just crushing my navy right now. You can't beat just a simple all black get up like this. I mean, I, I can't pick truly between black and navy. This looks really good. <laughs> And I do love it. This is just so classic and it looks really sleek. But I'm telling you guys, there's something about navy that's just really getting me lately, okay? So I love both. I took a small in both of these. And again, same thing. The leggings are high-waisted, really comfy. Love the way that they feel. And then this top is just a perfect basic. Pull it down a bit. And it's nice and compressive. I'm actually not wearing a bra with this either and it's just a really good basic for like working out or athleisure and I paired it with white socks white sneakers and I feel like this looks perfect it's a perfect base layer too if you want to throw on a jacket or a hoodie or anything like that it's perfect and then I have one more outfit to show you guys from them which is actually a pair of sweats that I've been wearing non-stop and a t-shirt that's my favorite okay and then i had to show you guys this t-shirt i wanted to show you with the black leggings too because this has black text and i feel like they look really good together but this is one of my favorite pieces from this entire haul i've been wearing this non-stop i am like a very sensory person i love the way this shirt feels like it's you know when a t-shirt is like thick but also kind of you know it feels like a little bit cooling do you know what i mean like it's thick but it's not stuffy i don't know it's it's also thick but it's soft if that makes sense so it just feels super comfy and kind of like vintage and worn in but high quality and clayton has been wearing it too he's very particular about t-shirts neck holes and he really likes this one because it's like tighter it's not like a huge gaping hole which 
is how he doesn't like his t-shirts to fit. So we are both obsessed with this. It fits him great. It's more of an oversized fit on me. I think I got this in a large. Let me double check. Okay, just kidding. It's actually a size small, but it fits Clayton great. More of like a fitted t-shirt on him and more of like a baggy. You're not super oversized on me, but it's just so comfy. It's so cute. It looks great with like the leggings and the sneakers. And then I also like wearing it under this sweatsuit that I'm going to show you guys. This is in that like sort of chocolatey, dark, charcoalish brown color. And then I have a matching hoodie. Okay, so these are the sweats. They're so good. Very particular about how sweats fit. Oh, there's my bra. And I feel like these ones fit so nicely. Kind of like high waisted, flare out a bit at the hips, which I like, and then tapered and cinched at the ankle. Just a little Adenola sport right here that's really cute. And then this is the crew neck that I've been wearing. I love just like a matching sweat set too because it makes me feel like I have my life a little more together when I'm being super comfy. My hair's crazy right now. So yeah, this is my little Adenola haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love their stuff and I know that you guys would too. So it will all be linked in the description. Enjoy. Happy shopping, guys. Happy Earth Day. Happy you down? Happy Earth Day, guys. I'm gonna go eat lunch on a patio. I found the gray belt. It's my blazer. Where was it? It was, it was in the depths. <laughs> the depths of our closet. Scary. Scary, scary place. So I'm wearing my little one piece that I wore to the gym today. Styled her up for lunch. Cute. Cutie. Yeah, I love it. Oh, the two of us. We could make it if we tried. We're at Lola Taverna for lunch. Lola Taverna. It looks so good. We got the halloumi salad and the impossible kebabs. Kebab. Kebab. Everybody's out and about today too. Look at this. It's popping. Saturday Earth Day. Today we are going to a Yankee game, which we've never been to. You guys know Peyton loves sports. Big sports guy. I also like sports too. We have fun. We've been to so many sporting events together right now. I know we have. It's, crazy. it's a good date too. It is. Now we've been to, after that we'll have been to Yankee Stadium, MetLife, which is a football, and Madison Square Garden for a hockey game. And we went there for a concert. Yeah. We just haven't been to basketball. In New York. No. It's the only one we're missing. It's only the big four. Looks so crazy. The big four. Yeah, so we're just getting ready. The weather is actually really nice today. It was like, I think like mid 60s and kind of breezy, which is so nice in New York because we walk around so much. So I like when it's warm enough that you can be comfortable, but then when you break a little bit of a sweat, because you're walking, you know, 20,000 steps a day, you get like a little fan from the breeze. Also, mid 60s, like lowish mid 60s, I think maybe it was today, is perfect because it's warm, it's nice, but it's not. Sorry, the camera died. Um, this is my jersey I got. Yeah, we went thrifting. We showed you guys, right? I don't know if we showed them the jersey. Oh, they look so good. You're so cute. It's You're cool so one. handsome. It's really cool jersey. Bernie Williams, legend. And I got a jacket and it's huge. I got a 3X, which is honestly massive for me, but I love it. I think it's so cute oversized. I think the guy at the store thought I was a little crazy because he's like, that doesn't really fit you. Like it's so big on you. And I was like, no, I honestly like that. And now we were saying we have so many sports jackets too and Clayton was just saying that we might need to become Yankees fans. I don't really have a basketball, I mean a baseball team. The only team I'm really unfortunately loyal to is the Raiders. I can never escape the Raiders. Even though they're really annoying. Like 90% of the time. Baseball, Clayton loves the A's but now the A's are going to Vegas too we just found out this week which is so disappointing. We're really sad about that. 
So he said maybe we should become Yankees fans. Maybe that's what we'll do. I don't know. I love the Yankees branding. I also like the Dodgers branding. Be open to becoming a Dodgers fan. I used to be a Giants girly back in high school and stuff. Being a liking the Dodgers, being open to liking the Dodgers would be criminal offensive side eye. Yeah. As a Giants fan, but I'm not actually a Giants fan anymore, so I feel like the Giants became annoying to me. Kind of like the Warriors too. I became over both of them. And anyone watching right now who is either of those fans, which Clayton is a big Warriors fan. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to fight with you. I love you. I love you, Clayton. I self-tan today. And I just rinsed it off. And I already had my makeup done. I actually really liked my makeup today. But when I rinsed in the shower, got my makeup wet. So I have to redo my makeup now, but... We're gonna make the most of it. We'll throw on a little hat, a little Yankees hat. We're in cowboy boots, denim shorts. It's like a prelude. Is it prelude or prelude to summer? I want to say prelude, but I don't know if that's right. I'm excited that we went to our favorite ramen place today before because I feel like these games, you know, they're at like 7, 7.30 and then you're just put in such a weird position for like eating. You just eat at the games, but sometimes it's not the best food. I wonder what this stadium's food will be like, actually. We'll see, but we um, ate a bunch of ramen, which I'm happy about. I'm going to do a tutorial probably on Instagram soon or TikTok. Maybe here on YouTube. Sorry, my nose was itchy. I wasn't picking my nose in front of you guys, but maybe we're close enough that I can. But I'm going to do a little tutorial probably on one of those platforms because it's like quicker and easier but of how I've been contouring lately because I've been trying out some new contour techniques and I'm really really happy with them I like it a lot I feel like contour is such a important part of my makeup routine I feel like it makes a big difference so I'm going to share how I've been doing it soon so if you don't follow on either of those you can check it out there or if you guys really want it here on YouTube let me know but I just feel like it's so much easier for me to do little tutorials on my phone instead of the camera. Got that off for the game. Playing the Toronto Blue Jays. Oh, it turned out cute. They look so I think cute we like, I think fans. we like being Yankees fans. I used to hate the Yankees. I absolutely despise them. I feel like everyone hates the Yankees. It's like the cool thing to do. Mm -hmm. Alright. They're one of those teams. Yeah, People love to hate them as much yeah. as they love to love them. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna take the train up, subway, to the Bronx. First time to Yankee Stadium. Let's go check it out. All right, and we're off. And it's windy as heck. Uh, Weather New York is so crazy. It's so variable. It's... It just changes like as much as I. <laughs> Change your outfit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally though, which works out pretty well for you because every time the weather changes, you probably yeah. are going to change your outfit. Oh, we can make it. Oh, okay. Good thing you wore the sneakers. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, but it's like unpredictable here. It's or just freezing now. Just changes. It was supposed to be like 76 or something. We're gonna take the train up, so at least we don't need to be out yeah. that much. And then when you're in the air, there's like so many people. Yeah, and you're protected at least. You're like a stadium, so hopefully it we'll, won't be too cold. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> we made it. There's all. You're tired? It's just like when you go on an airplane or something, you know? Yeah. Time for your first cup of coffee? Yeah, first cup of Here we go. <laughs> well, the Yankees pull a lot of fans, so this place is popping. It's like we're at Coachella. But everybody's wearing the same thing. Get that nice cup of Michelle Bites for that white gold. Mix the beef. Smiling, wilding, living it up with Sailor Rome. Gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. 